Welcome to 2015 AMPN Can we see, Expo. Can we see your boobs? I'm going to cut your boobs. Rip it. Pose, 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 pose. This way, this way. All the pose. Before initiation, where like you're a pledge and you don't, you're not necessarily in the sorority, but you're trying to be. And it's like all the training that you go through before you can go through initiation. <laughs> Basically, what I'm doing is speaking right now. <laughs> yeah. Basically. You're you're in. Did you pledge your sorority when you were a youngster? No. I don't. I don't believe in paying to have friends. Is that what so, it means? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no. She doesn't have any friends. I don't she need any there. friends. I have cats. You have cats. You're probably quite wise. Everybody All right. loves me. Whatever. Here we go, one at a time. Okay. So okay. first day impressions of AVM 2015. It looks like it's a good show. There's a good turnout. There's a lot of hot girls here. And Is this one of them? Carter Cruz is, yeah. She's like my little fledgling sweetler girl under my wing. <laughs> I really like her. It's a good thing too, because I have to stand next to her for four <laughs> days. Where, where does the stamina come from to do 96 hours of party? Um, well, I mean, I mean, some people take drugs, I think. <laughs> That's a bad thing. I think we the stamina comes from us doing a lot of butt sex during the year. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is kind of energizing in a way, I'd say. No, it just it trains us, you know? It takes a lot of stamina. So here, standing here for four hours, what's that? All right. How's your master plan going for using <laughs> porn? <laughs> using porn for world domination? Um, I think it's going pretty well. I don't know though. I just, I'm so like in the moment. I don't really like realize how, I don't know. Your, <laughs> your star is rising. You're having a meteoric rise, I'd say. Oh, but you want to do other things. You just don't want to do porn forever like me. Well, like a lifer. I, I call it a lifer. I love porn and I don't want to like, I see so many girls, they do porn for like a year or two and then they like, just like, oh, and now I'm too good for it. And they go and do other things. And like, I think that's really dumb. Like I've made it very clear to everyone that I've worked with outside of porn that this is my first priority. And I want to make sure I really like give my all to this industry and not just use it. I want to actually do well in it as well. Do you have advice for, for, for young Carter Cruz? Uh, what is it? Keep your feet on the ground and reach for the stars. Or whatever, you know, like, I don't know. I think she's like doing pretty good. As long as she doesn't become a, more, a monster, I'd say. Sometimes people like get to. You know, my full permission to see She can be. She's too. Look at her. She's angel, angel yeah, eyed innocence. Is. Well, you know. There's something to that that's the, you know. <laughs> it's always like the angel ones that you have to look out for because they usually tend to be like the worst, I'd say. It's so like me, I did I fuck someone over? Couldn't be. And it's like they're always the worst. <laughs> it's very and everyone true. always just assumes because I'm like a five foot eight brunette dominatrix that like I'm the biggest butthole ever. But I'm like so, actually so, like a really nice person. <laughs> so 
So how did you keep your feet on the ground? Not, uh, not metaphorically. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I just like don't get, don't get caught up in your own hype. Don't think that you're never going to be unpopular at any point. Don't think that you're not going to get old. I think that's the funniest thing when when girls are like 18 or 19 and they're coming in the business and they're like, oh whatever, you're old, Dana. And I'm like, oh yeah. So it must be really cool, like being like you and like you're never gonna get old. Like that's. <laughs> A really unique thing. Like, so we, we, <laughs> really have the, we have the young and the the old. Not so young. I'm a legendary. We're not that. That's what I call it. <laughs> we look the same age. Yeah, I yeah. just happen to be like 500 years older than her. No. Do you do you it's both weird. you both enjoy doing what you do? We love it. It's fine. It's not like a real job. Well, it is. But it is. But I don't know. We have like a family. There's like a family thing going on with us. I like, think that's the whole. Definitely. We support if you each look other. At her story, and uh, I think you were searching for a family. You were searching for something. What do you think you were searching for? Um, no. <laughs> I have a great family, they're awesome. Um, I was searching, I guess, for like a place that I could be myself. And I always felt like being in a sorority and doing all those things that I did, like they were great experiences and I'm glad I did them because they taught me I can blend in anywhere. But at the same time, like it was really cool the first time I went to Florida to shoot porn and I met all these porn people and I was like, just for the first time I felt like I could just be myself 100% and people actually liked me and I didn't feel like super uncomfortable like, oh I can't say this or whatever. Do you always remember the first time? Um... <laughs> Let's make this sort of be a funny question. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Honestly, my first scene especially was such a blur because I was so, like, nervous. I tend to, I forget things really easily. I'm not someone who's very, uh, I forget and I move on. I'm very in the moment. Do you remember your first time? Yeah. Do you ever forget your first time? No. <laughs> it's always, I never forget. The no. memories are always there. Yeah, my first, my first experience, I worked at Kink was the first corner that I ever did and it was like, it was like very intense because it's like a big company and they do some really hardcore like BDSM stuff and I was like, yeah, this seems like a good idea, you know? <laughs> and then you get on set and everyone's sort of like running it like a professional office and like, oh, well, I shouldn't be shy to be naked. Like these people have seen absolutely everyone naked. Like it's not, I don't have anything that they haven't seen before. And they're so clinical about it too. They're like, can you? Would you mind taking off your underwear? Like, if they want to fix the tag or something, I love when directors will ask, like, oh, do you mind if I, like, tuck in your tag? I'm like, you're about to watch me have sex. Like, it's okay, but they want to be, they don't want you to feel like they're taking advantage and, like, touching you inappropriately. And that was something that really like, stood out to me from the very beginning. It was like, oh my God, I'm naked and, like, masturbating, and I feel more comfortable now than I felt, like, in clothes, like, at a sorority event where everyone's, like, sitting, like, judging you. You know, it's like, I feel so at home here. It's amazing. Predictions for Saturday night? Are you gonna win something? I don't know. I mean, honestly, I'm so excited just to be nominated. And you have like a million nominations. You know, a year ago she was more. nobody here. I know. Is the way she describes it. Well, she then she met me, and now she's popular. Dana changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> you make a prediction for Saturday night. Could she win Best Actress? Um, what what movie, movie was it for? Second Chances. Yeah, because you won the you won Second Chances. For Expos. And for Expos. She, she swept Expos pretty much. You got like four awards. Did you win at Expos? Yeah. So this could be it. Okay. This puts you on the map. Yeah, that would be awesome. I'm excited. Do you have a, but... a victory speech ready? <laughs> Um, I actually, like at X-Fizz, I didn't even think about it until you know like right what? before. I was like, oh my don't god, even what if I it. win? And I, I, when I won, it was like, I like don't even bother like trying to prepare something to say because no matter what, you're gonna like totally flake. And I like, <laughs> when I won, when I won Best Girl Girl in 2012, like I, like Spiegler was heckling me from the front row and I was like starting to tear up and I was getting like sweaty. And then everyone was just like, oh dude, like her hard shell crack. Yeah, like when you, when you don't prepare something, it's like when you're like your most genuine. Right. And right. like, most Makes natural. you seem very humble. I just wrote down everyone that I wanted to thank on my hand for Expos because I didn't want to forget anyone. Is like your mom on that list? I'm just gonna ask no. that. <laughs> my parents are awesome, but I don't think that they in any way helped me win another porn award. <laughs> okay, they brought you into the world. That's true, that's true. All right, that's great. I have one question. Uh -huh. If you could have sex with any celebrity in your next movie, who would it be and why? Um. 
Well, I always say this, but I don't really want to have sex with her, but I just really want to stick my fist in Kim Kardashian's asshole. What? <laughs> Why? Is there a specific reason for that? I don't know, because like her ass is like epic all over the world, and I just want to destroy it with Kim my fist. Kim Kardashian? Yeah, like I don't want to actually have sex with her. I just... What about you? <laughs> You're not in your mind. A celebrity? I like, oh, what is the... Um... Jack Nicholson? <laughs> trying to Brad Pitt? In, in your... In mine. In your phone. In, in, in your zone of... <laughs> no, uh, I think I like a... I love George, Joseph Gordon Lovett. I love him. Who? But Joseph Gordon Lovett. He just got married though. Oh. It makes me sad. Since I, would fuck the, I would fuck like Zoe De Chanel. You know who everybody so says? Funny. Angelina Jolie. Really? Everybody. Guys She's and like girls. A mom now. I mean, like a mother of like eight kids. Angelina Jolie is like my spirit animal, yeah. Like I totally like, but I don't think like I would want to fuck her because that's just, I don't know. We have the same gynecologist. Really? The same gynecologist? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, me too, because I'm saying that. That is a you. really interesting thought. Yeah. yeah that's the pretty man who's seen more star vaginas. Than yeah, yeah. he's so nice. Well, thank too. you so much, and good luck uh, thank you. Saturday night. We hope yes. you win. Go win. Go win. We're expecting you to win. Questions about squirting and anal sex. So, does anybody have any more questions? Going once. You guys want the free stuff now, All right? Going twice? All right, so, first of all, thank you all for coming. Thank you for listening. Thank you for taking part. Thank you for asking some really good questions. The questions are not always as good, so thank you for your attention. And now, the latest movie in my line of instructionals to come out is BDSM for Beginners. And I'm actually surprised that I didn't get any BDSM questions today in light of the whole Fifty Shades phenomenon that's going on right now. We're all just kind of riding that wave. But what I did was I put together an assortment of toys um, and BDSM products that were used in the making of my movie. I have um, bed restraints from Sex and Mischief from Adam and Eve. I have the duo balls of pleasure and these are great because they have a cord. That means you can get them out easier and not have to lay them like a chicken lays eggs. Um, also, there's a neck wrist restraint from Ouch Shots. And then from, from a favorite of mine, from NS Novelties, their sinful collection, I have a restraint belt. And these are all products that were used in the movie. And because I couldn't help myself, I also threw in my flashlight. And the way I'm gonna give these away is I'm going to have you look under your seats and you may or may not have an index card taped to the bottom of your seat. I was really sneaky earlier. And it's gonna say you're a winner. And if you have one, hold it up in the air. Oh, nice, whoa, I put two, I put two so close to things. So, for more information, you can check out guidetowickedsex.com. You can see all of the instructionals and all of my movies on wicked.com. And if you liked the seminar, if you took pictures, if you have any comments or anything like that, you can follow me on Twitter at the Jessica Drake, and you can also follow Wicked at Wicked Pictures. Thank you.